How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So, here we are with the Garmin Tactics 7 Solar Pro Ballistics model. Oh my gosh, the name is extremely long and crazy. And I want to talk about my real-world use with this watch of about six months of active duty military, outdoorsmen, that kind of stuff. I have pretty heavily abused this watch. As you can see, most Garmin's do not wear that quickly, and I have a ton of wear and tear on this watch. Now, everything is still functioning perfectly, but I wanna discuss the time that I have with it to give you a better idea if this watch is gonna be worth it for you in a normal dude. I'm just a normal guy in the military just doing things. And a lot of us honestly are like that. I'm not some special forces crazy guy, but I do do interesting things at my job that require me to have some of these functions. So let's dive into it because the price is that over looming massive thing that is like, why? A lot of people say, why is this $1,600? So over the next few minutes, we're going to discuss if this watch is worth it to pull out $1,600 or less, depending on what models you get. So let's dive into it. All right, so just to set it up real quick, I have used other Garmin watches, a, Dar a Garmin Tactics Delta prior to this, and then prior to that was a Bravo, and I have some inreaches. I have another Garmin watch, which we're gonna talk about on here um, at the end, and I have a lot of experience with this. I've deployed overseas with Garmin tools or Garmin devices, and they have helped me through a lot of interesting situations. So I have a lot of time behind this, so I'm not just BSing you and like, here we are, this is what it is, but I'm going to talk about the real world stuff here. So the notable upgrade from this to the Delta, because you can just go on Amazon or whatever, look up the Delta and go, okay, why is this so much more expensive? Well, I would say there are probably two things that set this watch apart, and it is this right here, as in touchscreen. Now, as you saw, it lagged right there. So every time you initially do it, it will just be slowed up. But as soon as you go to it, it is very touch responsive, which is very nice. So whatever section that you want to dive into, it will sense and be very, you know, sensitive or responsive to your touch, which a nice thing too, is you can also turn it off. So if you want to go back to an analog, hey, it doesn't work. And then you can, you know, rotate it back around, of course, turn it back on and there you go. So it does allow that. And I think that is a huge, huge game changer for Garmin, honestly, because uh, compared to Apple watches and all that other stuff, touchscreen, this is a military rugged watch that integrates touchscreen and solar. So we're going to get into that coming up. You can kind of see it. I'm going to try to purposely get in the light so you can see that amber bezel. But why this is such a game changer, because there's so much crammed into this thing that the Garmin Tactics Delta, which I ran, it was kind of not difficult, but annoying just to use the buttons to kind of go through literally everything. So touchscreen improved that a lot. The major big difference, if you use maps a lot, if you hit this button and go over to your maps, like, oh my gosh, being able to zoom in and move around contour wise with this is absolutely insane. And this is where I think the money is. is this is its 100% own touchscreen device now. Cause you can zoom in and look at contours and other stuff like that. We just connected with um, GPS. So that is a huge, huge game changer. And the touchscreen like I said, lags in the beginning, but then as soon as you do it. Now, if you use the original watch faces, it will not lag. This is just because this is an aftermarket and it sucks up a lot of data, so it's kind of slow. But let's move on to solar. Is the solar that big of an upgrade? Like as in, let's see if we can dive in and you can see that ring right there. It's kind of difficult in this lighting, but you see that they massively improved it over the Delta because I used to run the Delta. Now I do see battery life as being improved on this. It still does not have the surface area to actually improve your um, battery life. So it's at 79 as you can see right here. But if we would swap this over real quick 
and we're going to head on over to Battery Saver. You see, we have about 20 days worth of life right now, just normal. But if we enact Battery Saver mode, it's 71 days. That is a long time for a touchscreen device. Now, of course, with use, it will go down, especially if you're using GPS, it zaps it pretty hard, but it's just de debatable what you're gonna use with it. I do think that this solar panel is an improvement and it will assist you. Now, if we had like a graph, and of course, if you use stuff, it goes down at an angle. A typical angle going across is in using the battery on this. So does solar actually make it come up? No, I think it just levels it out just a little bit. It improves it for more longevity. Instead of, you know, dissipating that battery very quickly, it'll improve it just a little bit. And it is definitely an improvement over the Garmin Tactics Delta. So with that, I think that is a notable upgrade. Now, one thing that is really goofy and really awesome at the same time, which is kind of funny, let's rotate that on over. See as you can go through whatever you want, or you can still use t the buttons <clears throat> if you would like. So you can rotate around if you don't want to use touchscreen. Right here, flashlight. Funny enough, I thought this was a gimmick, tell you the truth. It has green as well, you can touch it, or you can move up and down with the buttons, like I said. I thought this was a gimmick. It was kind of goofy. I'm like, why would you want to put a flashlight in this? It's kind of weird, like, it's gimmicky. Turns out it's not. <laughs> I actually use this a lot, all the time. And it's funny because it helps you so much. It's mainly a gimmicky thing you think of, but then when you start using it, you're like, wow, this actually really helps. Now, of course, you can pre-program, you know, buttons and stuff, which I have throughout my military, you know, experience is like I have my countdown timer into this, and each one has its own setup, so I can set up certain, you know, requirements or things that I have, very beneficial. So those are the notable things that I would say that are upgrade. And as you can see, it's fairly abused. I abuse this very much. I use it heavily. Oh, you can see the wear around the bezel and it wears very well. Honestly, the screen is immaculate. Sapphire, that solar sapphire, which is very impressive. But at the end of this, is it worth $1,600? Well, that's gonna have to be your decision. Is it worth it to me being a user that I like touchscreen availability? Same with maps. If I can go over to maps and just easily move around, as soon as I touch that, if I can just kind of get off to the side here so you guys can't see exactly where I am, but you can do coordinates, stuff like that, and easily move around. That, if you are interested in, in a wristwatch, that will be it. Maps were so clunky on the Delta that it was extremely difficult to use at times. This improves it greatly. So, for me, I am glad I purchased this watch. I am going to still use it and throw it around in rotation because I have, like I said, another Garmin watch here, and this watch almost which I'll show you in a later video, does the same exact thing this watch does. But you can buy three of the watches I'm wearing for the price of this. So if you guys are interested in that, I am testing this. This is like day three with this watch on my wrist, which I'm not going to show you at the moment. If you are interested in seeing what that is, definitely hit like, subscribe, see what's upcoming, because we're going to do like a year review with this, and we're going to do initial and six month and all that kind of stuff as a military end user. Are these watches worth it? Now, I would say this one in the military community, this is an awesome worth it watch. But if you are not an outdoorsman and that kind of stuff, you don't have the money to spend on it, I wouldn't recommend the Garmin Tactics Delta 7 Pro Ballistics Edition. Oh my gosh again but if you are an outdoorsman and you do want those maps and that touchscreen absolutely recommended if you guys want one of these watches or other watches definitely go down the link below and use my link it helps me it does nothing for you as in like it doesn't 
take away or make you spend more money, but it does support this channel, which I can in turn purchase more items to give back to you and give you my real world experience on them. So if you like this kind of stuff, definitely like, subscribe, Ch check out those links below. I greatly appreciate it. We have PayPal, we have Patreon if you want to support. If you don't, just keep enjoying the content. That's the whole intent of this is just to give you real world use. So other than that, I recommend it. It is an awesome watch. Little expensive though, but hope you all have a great day.